Brexit, EU is playing hardball with Northern Ireland says Hoey sign up for now and never miss the top politics stories again subscribe when you subscribe we will use the information you provide to send you these news sometimes they'll include recommendations for other related newsletters or service our privacy notice explains more about how we use your data and your rights you can unsubscribe at any the Northern Ireland protocol has become a contentious issue since the UK completed its departure last month the EU threatened to invoke Article 6 of the Brexit trade deal in order to stop vaccines entering Northern Ireland and then on to Great Britain. Speaking to Express.co.uk, Tory MP for Fluid West and Deputy Chairman of the European Research Group, David Jones claimed the EU's threat to invoke Article 6 was a provocative act. Trending after vowing to protect the peace process in Ireland throughout Brexit talks, Mr Jones claimed it is now apparent the EU wants to use the protocol to punish the EU. He said, I think the Northern Ireland protocol has to be revisited. The Northern Ireland protocol, which was supposed to be something to allow flow of goods across the border without the need for physical operators on the border, has actually, it turns out been something that the EU want to use as a weapon against the UK. It's something that they want to use as a weapon to punish the UK for something the UK. So I think that now that we've seen the way that they will use the Northern Ireland protocol, the withdrawal agreement itself has got to be looked at. And I think that the British government would be entirely justified to say, you know, this is not working you you've abused the terms of this treaty. Following the backlash in Northern Ireland, the Republican Britain, the EU Commission was forced to withdraw its threat to enact our Such was the threat to the peace process in Ireland. Ems von der Leyen has admitted mistakes have been made over the move to block vaccines. The article allows either side to invoke emergency trade measures if they are being severely impacted by the trade agreement. Although EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen withdrew the threat soon after announcing her intent to do so, Mr Jones stated the damage has already been done to Malaysia. He added the EU has now has raised concern in the UK while also echoing Michael Gove's comments that Pandora's box had now been opened. Amid the trade uncertainty, Mr Gove warned the EU that certain all alterations to the withdrawal agreement must be made to solve the issues in Northern Ireland. In response, however, his EU counterpart and Vice President of the Commission Maro Svkovic stated alterations could not be made. Ahead of their face-to-face -face meeting on Thursday, Mr Svkovic insisted the protocol must be maintained in order to stop the peace process from being inferred. The problems surrounding the protocol lie in that Northern Ireland left the EU as part of the UK but must adhere to Brussels' single market and some customs checks. Due to this and the creation of border down the Irish Sea, there have been concerns over the safety of staff at ports and North. Such is the situation. The DUP has called on the protocol to be adjusted or maybe even she told Keston, we were promised unfettered access from GB to me and a lot of people remember the PM's words around that and in fact, quite the opposite has happened. There are now barriers between GB and me and that's not acceptable for the greater